Before disassembling your HyperX Alloy Origins Core Keyboard, you need to gather the essential tools and prepare your workspace properly. First, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, either PH1 or PH0 size. These precision screwdrivers are essential for accessing the internal screws. Next, you'll need a keycap puller to safely remove the keycaps without damaging them. Wire pullers are generally preferred over plastic ones for better grip and control. An anti-static wrist strap is highly recommended to protect the sensitive electronic components from electrostatic discharge damage. Before touching the keyboard, power it down completely and disconnect all cables. This prevents any electrical damage during disassembly. Take photos of your keyboard from multiple angles before disassembly. This documentation will be invaluable during reassembly to ensure everything goes back in the correct position. Now we begin the systematic keycap removal process. Start with the larger stabilized keys like spacebar, shift, and enter keys, as these require extra care due to their stabilizer mechanisms. Use gentle, even pressure when pulling keycaps. Rock the puller slightly while pulling upward to avoid damaging the switch stems or keycap mounting points. If your HyperX Alloy Origins core has hot swappable switches, you can remove them using a switch puller. Note the orientation and placement of each switch before removal for proper reassembly. Your keyboard is now ready for the next phase of disassembly. All keycaps and switches have been safely removed and you've documented the process for reassembly. The preparation phase is complete. With keycaps and switches removed, flip the keyboard over to access the bottom panel. This reveals the screws that hold the case together. Locate the screws on the bottom panel. Typically, there are six to eight Phillips head screws. Some may be hidden beneath rubber feet that need to be removed first. Use plastic prying tools to separate the case halves. These tools prevent damage to the plastic clips and case materials during disassembly. Gently separate the top and bottom case halves. Be extremely careful of ribbon cables that connect the PCB to the case. These delicate cables can be easily damaged if pulled or twisted. Disconnect any ribbon cables and connectors, then remove the PCB mounting screws. Carefully lift the PCB to access internal components for cleaning, maintenance, or modifications. Remember to organize all screws and small parts systematically. This ensures a smooth reassembly process and prevents losing critical components.